Dr. Mommy Budgets coming back to you again with another video. I am here today to finally try and get back into the rhythm of doing my cozy chair conversations. And today, the cozy chair conversation is going to be about budgeting and my budget adjustment. Remember, I've mentioned that to you guys in my previous budget projection um, video. So today we're going to kind of talk through what is actually going to be changing in my budget. And yeah, we'll just go from there. It's bothering me that this bed is not made and this pillow is in my video. But anyway, this is the way it's going to have to go because I don't have time to start again. I am actually taking a quick break while I am working on a t-shirt design. I'm actually cutting out vinyl in my project room, um, getting ready to do a t-shirt order. Or actually, these are going to be senior sashes. But anyway, let's jump into this video. I'm going to go to my um, notes section on my phone. Remember, I told you I have two or three accountability places and one being this note section. Oh, you can't see it because there's a glare. But it actually houses all of my expenses that I pay per week. So this was um, the sample that I was showing you guys of if I needed to make adjustments or pay my bills and everything on the go. I had the entire amount of expenses totaled up and what I need to do on a weekly basis right here in my phone so it can go anywhere with me so I don't have any excuses as to why I should not be able to rectify my budget week by week. So, oh yeah, we need to make sure that our little bulldog is in the video. Remember I said I was going to start including him in videos, but anyway, I still haven't figured out a name. If you guys can think of a name for my little cozy bulldog, let me know. But anyway, so let's dive right into this budget. Here's what's going on, guys. What's going on is, if you can recall, in my week two budget recap, I think I talked about me purchasing my daughter a car. And of course, you know with the car comes the registration. With the registration comes insurance. So yes, I had to add a 17-year-old for one on my insurance policy, which jacked it up. Then I also had to add the new vehicle on the policy. So that is going to be my major adjustment for my budget going forward. So this budget projection, which will be week four's budget projection, will show the adjustments to my insurance. Yes. She increased my insurance right now. It is increased by $156 per month. And I guess that's not too bad. Um, I'm hoping it doesn't increase further because they're asking me for driving or driver's training. And she said all she took online was 40 hours of Joshua's Law. So I am hoping that I can turn in that certificate and that can suffice, suffice for the driver's training because if I don't get the driver's training, then they're probably going to jack my insurance up higher because she gets two discounts. Of course, um, any of you guys know that have a teenager, if you're adding them to their your policy and they're doing um, exceptionally well in school, they can get the good grades discount and they can get the driver's training discount. So hopefully I'm able to add that certificate and that can be enough to suffice for this driver's training. So anyway, let's go, let's dive right into this real quick. We're going to try and make this short and sweet. Week one, what's going to happen is remember I normally have, and you're going to see all of this in detail every week and I'm probably going to do a little recap or overview to just try to make sure you guys know that I am making the adjustment. But week one, What's going to um, essentially happen is the budget for my insurance. Remember, I had auto insurance set at $48.25 a week. Guys, it's going to jump up to $87 a week. So from $48.25 to 
to $87. So basically, here's what I'm going to do to uh, accommodate for this adjustment. What I am going to do is I'm going to move money. Remember, my second mortgage is the debt that I'm paying extra toward each week. So I'm just basically going to have to deduct that difference of the $48.25, um, cents, I'm sorry, $87 minus $48.25. I'm not even sure what that amount is. Let's calculate that real quick. $87 minus $48.25. Okay, so it increases by $38.75 per week. So what I am going to do is I'm just going to move or subtract $38.75 from that amount that I send as an overage or excess amount toward my second mortgage debt. So basically, with me making that change, my bottom line is going to stay the same, which is what I'm concerned with. The only downfall is, of course, I am going to be paying that second mortgage off slower now because the monies are allocated in another category. But basically, you will see me allocate $87 per week for auto insurance instead of the $48.25. And remember, I pay different amounts toward the second mortgage per week. So for example, like week one, I normally will send in $240.86. That's going to decrease down to $202.11. I've already made all the adjustments in my budget. Same thing for week two. That total is going to go from $283.86 that I normally send to the second mortgage. It's going to drop down to $245.11. Week three, I normally send in... $222.86, it's going to drop down to $184.11. And for week four, I normally send in an additional $238.40. That amount is going to drop down to $199.65. So you guys know I am really passionate about trying to pay off this amount so i'm gonna start finding some money somewhere over time more ramp up my side hustle um monies that i get from my rental property whatever it takes i'm gonna have to try and supplement um for what i'm having to adjust in my budget if i'm wanting to still meet my deadline of paying off this debt at the end of the month I mean, sorry, the end of the year. So basically that means, you know, I just won't be saving as much as I saved in the from the rental, um, the rent that I received for the rental property. You know, you just have to make adjustments and, you know, just be okay with it because at the end of the day, I knew that eventually she was going to start driving and I was going to get her a little vehicle and my insurance was going to go up. So these are things that I already knew. And I actually have two more children behind her so yeah we have to do this two more times but anyway hopefully you know i will be just kind of um phasing her out as i get ready for the other two so we'll just see how it goes as always everything always works out for the good so i am not concerned about it but i did want to hop on here and just kind of talk to you guys about my adjustments for my budget um, and how I plan to move forward with my um, amounts that I will be paying toward that second mortgage. So guys, this is all I have for this video. I need to hop back up here and get back to work. Side Hustle is calling me so that I can get this done. I actually have two other um, projects or orders that I need to fulfill right after I finish this one. I am not complaining because I need the money and I um, enjoy what I do with my side hustle gig, um, working on the t-shirt designs and, you know, just doing all kinds of design work. 
along those lines. But anyway, this is Dr. Mommy Budgets, where we dream big but start small around here. Please um, like this video. Also leave a comment if you have some questions about this video and how I plan to adjust my budget going forward. And um, I would also love it if you would subscribe to my channel. But this is all I have for this video and I am signing off. Peace.